remember the first time somebody handed me a microphone. I'm like, seriously, you want me to touch this thing? And the cool part is I get to hand the microphone to you guys. We come to that time, and there should be many times, quite honestly, not just this brief window on Sunday. We come to that time for the prayers of God's people. Not for the words from my lips, but when God's children lift up their prayers, their celebrations, and yes, we can thank God for the actual win, as long as you also show compassion for the other team. And he also calls us to share our burdens. What are the prayers? Today is my brother-in-law's 80th birthday. He is the pastor of Mountain Creek Community Church in Dallas, Texas, and I could not be there with the entire family today, but I have sent messages to him, and I pray that you would uplift him in your prayers, that he can continue on in this amazing ministry that he has. Robert Summers. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Lord, yeah. hear our prayers. Oh, I'm going around the Okay, this is a whiny one for me. <laughs> um, I was supposed to have oh. um, um, a scan last week, but it was an MRI kind of scan, and I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> and I tried, and I couldn't do it. So tomorrow... I'm going back to the hospital. They're giving me two Xanax. Oh boy. And I'm going to try again. I, I don't know, friends. <laughs> Just pray that I'll be able to do it. it it's not that long, but it's, it's hard for me. Lord, hear our, our prayers. prayers. I can hold you down. <laughs> no. I figured I'd make the offer. I mean... Do you want one, Hal? Yeah, uh, two. Two or three or four or five? I got a prayer. Uh, I have a prayer for Cindy Pfeiffer Hill and her, and her father. Just a prayer for good health. And a prayer for my friend Brian Burkhart, who has to run some tests on himself uh, by medically. Lord, hear our prayers. prayers. Mr. Pettit. Pettit. So I need to keep this going. I got to get steps in today. Well, you're camouflaged. Yeah. And you're as tall as I'm not. Last week, I uh, I was having I prayers, I asked for prayers for my brother who had the surgery on uh, Monday, <clears throat> and I'm glad, glad to report that he did very everything went well, well. He's not very comfortable now, but he's he's getting better. He's getting better. Amen. Amen. Lord. Here first. I'm going to say a little off prayer here just because I see it consistently. Ron's got these two German shepherds he's trying to find homes for. <laughs> the days. And I, I, I see them on social media and I think they're gorgeous dogs. I really do. And, and if I could, I've tried, I can't. But I see them on a regular basis. And I mean, I see all the other dogs, but a really small prayer, large prayer, that those two German shepherds find homes. Amen. Lord, yeah. hear our prayers. Anybody else?
prayers for healing and peace for Cliff. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Let us pray. Gracious, loving, creator God, we walk through your creation. Let us be reminded of the countless blessings before us. The blessings of friends, of family, of gentle words, of a handshake, of a hug, of a lifting up, the blessings of the grass under our feet, the air we breathe, the rain that nourishes, the blessings of our furry friends, the dogs, the cats, and so many more. The blessings of the food we eat, the water we drink. Oh, how we cannot count the blessings. Loving God, we are reminded all too often that while we should keep our eyes on you, focus on persistent love, we are distracted. We're distracted by the pain of the world, by poverty, by crime, by hatred, by war, and by people who would peddle hatred and fear. We're distracted and allowed to be divided. Remind us, Lord Jesus, that all of humanity is yours. That people are people. That we have the same struggles, the same needs, the same desires. To be loved and to love. Remind us, Holy Spirit, that wherever we go, we are not alone travel with you in the best of company. Help us not to be mired in the disarray of our world, but to celebrate the oceans and the mountains, the trees and the gardens, and the sharing of a cup of coffee or a simple conversation in a private moment. Help us relish in the laughter of a child us truly see your love around us. <clears throat> Loving God, each of us has a joy to celebrate, a reason to love, <clears throat> but each of us also has burdens that we would dearly love to be lifted. We come to you now to offer you the prayers of our hearts in the silence. Loving God, we know you hear our prayers. But oftentimes we are too busy to listen or to hear you. Help us now, through your spirit, to hear your love and your words. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you came to us so long ago that we have not forgotten the many lessons you have taught. One of them being, you taught us how to pray. We ask that you hear us now with one resounding voice, praying as you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this
The writer of 2 Timothy calls us to carry out your ministry fully. Our ministry is most fully carried out when our hearts are full, full of love, justice, and generosity in sharing what we have with others. Equipped for every good work, we now present ourselves and our offerings before God. gifts that enrich our lives. The sacred writing that provide instruction, correction, and training, the gift of the church, covenantal love and faithfulness, your own dear Son, Jesus Christ our Savior, the gift of the Spirit, our Advocate. We belong to you, and all that we have belongs to you. Use these offerings, we pray, in service of the justice you are establishing through your kingdom in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please join me in our affirmation of faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
position. You think back to that baseball game last night, the Pena in the 18th inning, one swing and history is made. Think back what that young man has done throughout his life. How many times he has gone to batting practice, rain or shine. How many times he's picked that stick up and swung it. How many times he's been coached. How many games he's played. He's a, he's a rookie. <clears throat> that swing didn't happen by luck. It takes persistence. It takes dedication. Our relationships, our faith, are just like that. We never know when that wonderful moment is going to happen, but it won't be by accident. Keep going. And the God of creation, the God of wonders, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our friend, and so much more. And the Holy Spirit, present now, be with us till we gather again. My friends, as you leave this place, may you go with joy in your heart, laughter to spread, a story to share, and may you keep on going. May you all go in peace. Amen. Amen.